Hey there guys, Prince Marquez and in this video I'll show a simple way how you can easily create your own proposal in HoneyBook. So right before we start, if you're on a free trial, what you can do is just simply click on the link down below in the description and you can get 20% off for the first year really simply, really easily. Just by clicking on the link down below in the description, you can save money. Or if you don't have yet account, you can use it straight away. So let's jump into the tutorial on how you can actually use it and how you can create your own proposal. So under invoice, you're going to find proposal. Click on it, proposal in project. So you're going to click projects, then find your own project here. And then go next to the upload, you're going to find create new. And I'm going to find proposal. Then you can use a uh, like template proposal or I can click here blank proposal. And you can have proposal with recurring invoice or standard invoice. Recurring invoice means that uh, you would send them to them like the invoice would be on monthly basis or yearly, weekly, completely up to you. So I will go with the standard invoice here. Now what I can do and how it actually works. So the first thing uh, we're going to find here, these are the pages on the right side that you can simply switch between contract and pay. Now I'm going to have uh, my image here. That's like logo that you can add and change. Then you can have the text and name of your company, num number, name, email, etc. What you can do, you can always click plus here and you can add a text, an image, and video, divider, social links. So it's like heavily editable. You can edit that. Then these, what you find here, are all question, are all like sections, content sections. And you can always come click here and click plus. And you can add a text, a question, an image, video, divider, company info layouts. All of that you can add here. Or what you can do, you can delete those. So we can also delete it, like, I don't know, delete it, right? And we have nothing here. And I can click plus here and add it, let's say questions or video. So when we have it, the next step is invoice. So you see right here that we have the invoice, build to, invoice, PO, uh, then we have the invoice date, and next payment due. And then uh, what we're going to have is to build to, and we can add a service. So packages, items, and let's say that I'm going to add a new service, we're going to get called YouTube consultation. And create YouTube consultation, where I'm going to have quantity one, and unit price, let's say 50 or 500. And voila, here we have it, our own service pricing. What I can do then, I can simply also add the text on the right side. And if I don't need text, what I can do, I can simply come here and add also a discount on the right side. So that's something you can do. Offer a discount dollars or percentage. Now, when you have it, you can go on, find also the payment schedule here. And you can, as I mentioned, send recurring invoices or you can add a payment. So we're going to have the payment schedule right here. And then we can go further and click next. Contract. So in a contract is really similar. You can edit everything and then you're going to have like signatures here where you can easily copy and paste the content contract for like the content. And uh, you can simply also add a signature and add a, like another signature here. So that's something you can do. And you can have like smart fields. So what I can have is to simply uh, choose it. Let me show you how it works. So let's say I come here in a contract. And I can have a smart field, smart, oh my God. And like must fill, can't edit, can edit. So I can have here and add, I don't know, name, right? 
and they just have to fill it out. And first client name. So you can have like smart field heels. So I can have it candidate must fill candidate. We can delete those. So these are all signatures. So right now I can have a payment recap, service recap, project info is out to fill or your client file in place a holder fields you created. So that's something you can actually do. And that's how it's possible to done. And I can easily click like preview it. And they would have to like write here same thing click to sign, right? And when we go even further, uh, we can click add a block or I can go on a free page here. The third page where you can have the payment, the amount due, the card number, expired country address, all of that. And you can easily on the right side allow your clients to pay with both credit card bank transfer. And you can also allow client to leave you a tip. Or client must use auto pay. So all of that you can allow. And that's pretty much it how you can do it. You just have to play around a little bit with it. You just simply always add the signatures. And yeah. So we can have here signature. Or like date. I can edit those. So thank you very much guys and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.